tomorrow. Let's get him back in the house before he... Wait. Hi. Oh, hello. Frank, please. You like the way this model handles? Oh, it's all right. But it's not as nice as my mother's car traffic, though. But I guess you just can't beat those sport cars, can you? No, I guess not. Oh, you got a mark here in your front tire, where you hit the curb. Oh, really? Frank, come on. It's not a bad mark. I guess girls like you need lots of practice before you can drive a big car like this. Oh, is that so? Don't let him feed you that. He isn't even old enough to have a license. <laughs> Neither am I. But my father got a permit to give me lessons. This is the first time we've been out. Gosh, he's been promising for months. I didn't make too bad a remark on the tire, did I? Is your father Mr. Binks? Well, of course. All right. All right, seems all right to me. You come to my office in the morning and I'll go see the probate judge with you, Eric. It's not a regular will, of course. At least he didn't leave any other. That's been the trouble. He didn't even have a living beneficiary named in his insurance policy. Is that the insurance mentioned in here? Oh, yes. And it'll all go to you now. Just about enough insurance money to pay Lacey's back taxes on the farm, I'd say. In other words, young man, there won't be much left to stick in your pocket. Unless, of course, old Uncle Billy left things we don't know about. Well, just so he didn't leave any debts, that's so. all. <laughs> and the animals will be cared for. <laughs> yeah, that's the important thing. Oh, just one thing, Mr. Binks. How does it happen you're so mixed up in all this? Good question. I own property out that way. Carried a mortgage and insurance for Lacey once. Paid his taxes sometimes. State owes me money. I just want to get things settled, that's all. Been helping the court, but uh, if he wants to take over, that's all right with me. Good riddance. Good night. Mr. Binks, Dad, what's going to happen to the animals? Aren't you going to ask them? Don't worry. We'll call that man Fred and cancel the order for him to come after him. Nobody's going to hurt your animals. Good night. Yeah, but why were you so anxious to have him killed in the first place? We've got an awful lot of questions to ask you. Joe, never mind, Sonny. It wasn't me personally, just that court order thing. Business is business. But look, I, I, I never asked you where you found that will, did I? Oh, wow. But then who cares where you found it? That's what I mean. So long as it's genuine. I'm sure they'll find out it is when the court checks the handwriting tomorrow. <laughs> ah, I don't think that anybody would make a phony document with purple ink. How about that, Hardy? Huh? Oh, scarcely. What? So stop asking questions. Who cares? It's all over and done with. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. I've got to go out and get my car wrecked now. <laughs> Well, that's it, boys. Your case is all over but the shouting. Come on inside. I think this calls for a celebration. Ah, so do I. Hey, he wasn't such a bad guy after all, was he? Frank, listen. What if it isn't all over? Suppose the will doesn't save the animals. What if the whole thing is as crooked as... Relax, will you? That guy Binks is sure no crook. you never seen a villain with a daughter, have you? At least not one like her. Yeah, but listen, what about the farmer and us? I mean, maybe we're the real villains. When they check Lacey's handwriting in the morning... Hey, what are you talking about? You don't think there's anything wrong with that will, do you? I don't know, Frank. I just know I lost my fountain pen out there somewhere. Huh? And it was loaded with the same purple ink. I would be now. I was just calling Joe. Mm -hmm. So I got it. Can he come out now? What happened last night? I was so anxious to find out I ate my breakfast coming over here. So if he's still asleep, you can wake him up and... It's still on your face. And he's not here. Huh? What is? Oh! I heard the boys come downstairs over an hour ago. What happened? Why isn't he here? Well, they went out to the farm again on their bike. Guess they wanted to be there before the roosters started crowing. <laughs> why? I mean, why'd they start so early? I don't know. Last night, it seemed as if the mystery was all solved. They found an old will that seemed to fix everything and save the animals. They did? Mm -hmm. I'm going to get on my bike and start out there right away. 
You know, there's only one thing that worries me. Joe didn't even take a donut. Huh? And I counted the eggs. I don't think either one of those boys had any breakfast. Gee, Joe always eats. Yes, I know. Before everything. And Frank, too, but not this morning. Something must be wrong, Iola. Very, very wrong. Frank, what time do you suppose I'll check the will, anyway? Who knows? Who cares? You don't suppose there's some kind of a law against a fraud like that, do you? I mean, even if the will does turn out to be phony. Look, will you quit hanging yourself until we know the truth? Hanging me? Wait till we get there, stupid. Just because it was my fountain pen. You know, you could have lost your pen on the couch back home. I mean, maybe we're getting scared for nothing at all. Yeah. Maybe all that purple ink stuff is just a big coincidence. Maybe thousands of old farmers write their wills with it. Oh, yeah. I mean, don't worry, I already looked in the couch. My pen wasn't there. I know it. I looked, too. His little friend is back where he belongs. Yeah. Hey, the barn door's open. Hi, beautiful. What's the noise for? She just likes to be scratched, that's all. Kind of like a dog. You know, I just gotta work out, Frank. Just gotta. Yeah, I know. Will or no will. See him? Well, there's no ghosts in here. Yeah, I don't see any sheep either. And look, the cow's not in her stall like she was last night either. Well, she wasn't tied there, you know. Hey, Frank, what's happening? Frank! There she is. Just wandered out to graze, that's all. Hey, maybe the ghost hasn't even been here this morning. Will you quit calling him that? Why? Because he's liable to hear me and start acting like one? Yeah, maybe he might. This is a great day for the ghost to start pulling his disappearing act. Yeah. Hey, mister, wake up! And we need you. Where are you? Hey, answer us! Fresh milk again, Frank. Maybe... Relax, will you? We'll find him. Hey! Look around down here. I'll look upstairs. You see him? Uh uh. room last night just before he found her, remember? It's the same purple ink. Looks like somebody wiped a pen off on it. But it doesn't prove it. You know how my pen leaks. Look here. Last will. These are my last wishes. False start, that's all. He messed it up, so he tore it up and threw it away. Gets me is, how could a guy figure to get away with such a stupid stunt like this? Come on, he's out with the sheep. Where? Across the field by the road. When he saw me, he started to run. <laughs> oh, shoo, shoo, shoo. Hey, come on. Back home. Well, will you stay away? care of all of God's creatures and they will take care of you. Oh, you'll take care of me all right. Make the whole world see where I am. Maybe those boys are not watching anymore, eh? Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.
Fountain pen, huh? <laughs> I quite forgot. Well, you don't think I'd run away with it, do you? I don't know what you'd do, mister. Oh, no, please. <laughs> you mustn't think bad things about me. <laughs> you don't like to think bad things about people, do you? Ah, oh, come off it, mister. You know what you did with this pen, all right. Uh, I, uh, I was about to leave town, but, uh, oh, I'd have mailed it back to you. <laughs> You wouldn't even have seen me if I hadn't wasted time bringing those four sheep out to graze. Well, Blasey's, you claimed you found in a coffee can. You wrote it last night with this, didn't you? I... I, I well, uh, why? What's the big idea of it? No, 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 wait, boys, wait. Let me explain. I, I just didn't want to see those poor sheep getting hauled off and killed. Do you, huh? Well, well, do you? Well, of course not, but... Uh, I didn't mean any harm by anything. I was... I was just going to leave town, and every nobody would have known the difference, and the animals, they'd have been happy, and... Oh, no. It's a fraud. It's forgery. It's crooked. And in a couple of hours, everybody's going to know about it. Huh? Well, maybe old man Lacey didn't write a will, but they sure have copies of his handwriting, and when they check that will, well, in a couple of hours, you're liable to be in jail. Things will be worse off than they were before. Yeah. For the animals, too. Oh, no, wait. Boys, boys, don't be angry with me. I, I just didn't know what else to do. Listen, Joe, our only chance is to tell Mr. Binks the truth. I mean, get Dad to plead with him and the court and everybody and... Yeah. And tell him before they find out the will is phony. Listen, I'll go call Dad before he leaves for the office. Stay here. I better do it. No, no wait, boys, wait. Let go. Uh, but we ought to talk about this thing first. We... Mister, we've got to be honest about this. But if we only waited a while, maybe... But boys, boys, you just can't tell them I wrote that will. Let go, I said. No, please, please. If... Go on, it's all right. All right, all right, all right. Let me go. I won't do anything. I guess you've done enough already. My, but you're strong, aren't you? <laughs> you're skinny, but whoo, strong. <laughs> no, you don't. Let me... Frank! Come on, hurry up! Uh, just a second, Eric. Uh, no, I want to talk to Dad. Uh, just a second. What's the matter? Look, Eric's already checked into it. Now he's back to see Dad. You mean he's already checked the will? The handwriting? This morning? And there was no question about it. It was easy. Are you sore? No, and that's the cockeyed part about it. Frank, there was no question but what Lacey wrote it. Huh? No, no, you're mixed up. Frank, listen, it was Lacey's handwriting. But that's impossible. Lacey died over... over a month ago. Well, I... I told you to call me a ghost, didn't I? Is there anything wrong with being a real ghost? That's what I said. Would you like to pinch me or something? Mister, this is no time for silly games. Hey, watch out for that phone, stupid. Eric will hear you. He's still on it, isn't he? Listen, kid, there's a lot of things to attend to this morning. Why did you call me anyway? Uh, it's not important. We just say hello, Eric. That's all. Uh, goodbye. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad you didn't tell him that Lacey's will was phony. Because, of course, it isn't really phony. Then. You wrote that will last night. You just said you did. Hey, but it's not phony if it's not a forgery now, is it? Well, you're not... Hold it. You're Lacey. Well, here's uh, his ghost, you might say. There's, There's no, no such, such thing, thing as a ghost. ghost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm... I'm Lacey. I'm really not dead at all. 
Uh, aren't you glad I'm not dead, huh? Hmm? I am. Look, Mr. Lacey, can't you ever say anything a sensible way? Which would you rather be, alive or sensible? Uh, no, uh, never mind. Uh, I suppose you want to know what happened, huh? Uh, uh, I just didn't plan on telling anyone, that's all. You heard about a timber fire or something. Yeah, that you died up in a forest fire up north or something, about a month ago. Yeah, 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 exactly. Uh, that's where I was when, when I didn't die. Uh, but I was missing, and people thought I was dead, and, well, uh, just let them keep on thinking it. Why? Uh, well, uh, if people want to think something, why, it wouldn't be very nice to disappoint them, now, would it? Uh, to go around saying they was wrong and... Uh, now, look, Mr. Lacey. Uh, I'm sorry. I... I stayed dead because of the animals, of course. Why? I don't understand. Take care of all of God's creatures and they will take care of you. Somehow I... Well, I just never did very well at it. That's all. One way or another. What do you mean? Feeding them? Yeah, and keeping the barn over their heads. And... You could have done better alive than dead. Or pretending you were dead. No, no. You see, that was the trouble. I was about to lose the farm. There were so many debts and taxes, they were going to take it away from me. They would just have hauled everything off to the glue works. Lock, stock, kit, and caboodle. Yeah, but how could your being dead help the farm? His insurance, stupid. Oh. Yeah, uh, you see, the only trouble with life insurance is it's, it's rather hard to collect. Uh, your own, that is. Boy, I'll bet you could get 10 years in the penitentiary for that. No, 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 no. I, I didn't plan any of this. It, uh, oh, it just happened. Uh, here I found myself supposed to be dead, and, well, uh, well, one thing led to another, and, uh, <laughs> oh, but it worked, didn't it? <laughs> it was our will did the trick, with your fountain pen and my fancy writing. Oh, no, no, I didn't do anything crooked. No, no, of course not, but uh, there's nothing wrong if we just keep our mouths shut, huh? Is there? Yes, there is. You better forget that hour stuff, Mr. Lazy. All right, all right. Turn me in. Tell the whole world I'm alive. We don't want to get you in trouble, but... And after they haul me away, they'll send a man named Fred to haul your little friend the burrow away. Oh, yes, boys. They'll haul all the animals away. Why? Because you've told. That's why. No. No, it wouldn't be our fault. Oh, yes, it would, because if, if you don't tell, I'll just sneak away somewhere, and Eric will inherit the farm, and everything will be happy ever after. But, Mr. Lacey, it, it, it's dishonest, don't you understand? If we don't talk, we can save the animals, and it isn't wrong, is it, if we just be a little bit dishonest, if something good happens because of... Dad always said... There's no such thing as a, as a little bit dishonest. Yeah, either you are or you aren't. Frank, look, couldn't we go on letting Mr. Lacey be a ghost? I mean, it wouldn't hurt anybody, and you save the animals. Joey! Do you hear something? Aren't you glad to see me? Why? Well, I brought your breakfast. You brought our what? Well, there's four hard-boiled eggs and six donuts. And I got two more for me without your aunt seeing. Well? Oh, yeah. Sure, thanks. We'll see you later when you get back home. Goodbye, Iola. Who are you talking to? Huh? I saw you clear from the hill by the county farm. And you were talking to somebody right there. Well, what are you talking about? He was just talking to me, that's all. Yeah, can he even talk to me? You couldn't even see us from up there, could you? Now, could you? Well, I'm sorry. You don't have to yell at me. It isn't that bad to be wrong, is it? <laughs> oh, look, sheep.
Why is it stupid that you can't ever learn to handle women? You know, you've been using that word stupid an awful lot these days. Could be. You know something else? No, do you? What's the matter with us? I know what it is. It's it's just not gonna work, that's all. We can't keep our mouths shut about Lacey. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's it's just plain dishonest. No wonder we're jumping all over each other. Look, we've got to tell somebody the truth. Animals are no animals. Yeah. Well, nothing's gonna happen to them for a while, at least. So, well, if worse gets to worse, we can build a barn in our backyard. Come on. It's no fun being dishonest. Makes you feel rotten inside when you do. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Lacey, but I think we'd better go into town and tell some people a few things, don't you? Well, it's, it's quite a ways off. Sure, we'll get you there all right. Yeah, my father's a nice man, and we'll tell him first about you not being a ghost, and, well, he'll do all he can to help you keep out of trouble. Ghost? Him? Sure. In a minute, you're going to see a ghost riding a bicycle. Oh, no, wait a minute. No, Mr. Lacey, we got to get going. We mean it. Well, uh, I'm warning you, boys. It's your fault if anything happens to those animals. Nothing's going to be anybody's fault if we're all honest about it. Well, well, I might talk to your father. Maybe, uh... Oh, come on! Joe, put that down. That's my bicycle. Here, I will have some breakfast. Ought to last you all day. And besides, these sheep need somebody to herd them around the good grass, don't they? Uh, don't worry, we'll be back before supper to pick you up. Come on, Mr. Lacey, let's go. I'd keep this one out and take care of him myself, is all. Used to be mine, you know. Lead him in here. I told you he said all the animals, didn't I? Well, I've got traveling to do tonight. He said? Who said? Who gave you those orders today? I thought something was going on that would take care of all these critters. I asked you to help me load them. It's none of your business who gives me my orders. Maybe somebody thinks they've been causing too much fuss by staying alive this long. <laughs> Ain't that so, little chum? <laughs> now, now, you just call me Fred. That's me, Fred. Next episode, I owe it to the rescue.